Now attend a dangerous blame game. Nolensville Pike between Harding Place and Welshwood Drive named the most dangerous crossing area in Nashville. Mm -hmm. Half a dozen people have been killed in recent years. News 4's Cameron Taylor is live there tonight. And Cameron, a man that lives nearby, says the city's not entirely to blame. Yeah, that's right, Time. He, he says some people just aren't using crosswalks like this one. Instead, they're walking in the middle of the street, and in some cases, drivers just can't see them. And tonight, that neighbor says this problem can be fixed. Walk Bike Nashville calls it the most dangerous intersection in Music City. Neighbor Philip Parker says there may be more to that unwanted title for Nolensville Pike between Harding Place and Welshwood Drive. People are darting in and out, crossing all times of the day. And sometimes they'll just be in the center lane waiting till the traffic clears enough where they can go across. Our cameras captured some people using the crosswalk. Others decided to walk in the middle of the street and dodge traffic. I don't think it's just the drivers. I know we have distracted driving, we have drunk driving, but the uh, pedestrians themselves can help themselves. From January of 2014 to June of 2018, six people died and 16 others were hit there. That's more than any other location on the list. These dangerous areas also happen to be at some of the busiest bus stops in the city. What that means is every single day there's people who are trying to catch the bus, trying to you know get home and are having to face really dangerous, um, if not deadly conditions to get there. Executive Director for Walk Bike Nashville, Nora Kern, wants the mayor to start a dedicated fund for more pedestrian safety. There's not enough safe crosswalks, the speeds are too high, and um, often there's really no good way for people to get around safely. She points out that the crosswalk on Nolensville Pike is a good example of what other intersections need. Now the mayor's office told me the city's transportation department wants to recommend some improvements at some of those intersections that we just told you about. Some of those improvements could include protected bike lanes and also talking about improving pedestrian signals. Cameron Taylor tonight. Cameron, thanks for that live report.